Good morning. It's day two for making the pan rustico. Um, I've just taken my cup and three quarters of water and nuked it. And let's see if I can move this in there. I nuked it for one minute on high and it's around 110, which seems to work pretty well. It's uh, warm water, but not too hot. And here's the result from yesterday. Okay, so this is our starter. I made half of a recipe for starter, but you can see it's all nice and bubbly. It looks like it's still alive. It's got the yeast in it. So I'm just going to transfer that to a larger bowl right now. And uh, this bowl is just barely big enough to hold the dough once it's had its first rise. But it's convenient and I like it. And I use it. I could do it in a bigger bowl, but this one I can manage. So I like to oops, just get everything out that I can. I've got to add the water. I clean out this little bowl just to get all of the goodies that I can in here. There we go. All right, so this is how easy this is. It's totally ridiculously easy. Just mix up that starter with the water. Dump in, I've met pre-measured the three and a half cups of flour, and lately I've just been using the regular King Arthur flour. I'm not adding bread flour anymore. It didn't seem to add anything to the structure or the taste, so I don't do that. So you just add that in there. I like to mix it all up first. And then later, I'm going to be adding the salt once it's all mixed. But I'd like to give the yeast and flour a chance to do their thing before they get the salt. Salt kind of tends to inhibit the yeast from doing its thing. So I like to give it a little bit of advanced mixing and an opportunity to blend in there before I add the salt. You can see this is really simple. Starter, water, flour, and salt. And then you just let this whole thing sit. I found letting it, covering it and letting it sit on the counter for, oh, say five hours works really well as far as getting the the uh, tenderness that I like for the inside of the bread and the crustiness on the outside. Okay, you can see this dough is really kind of wet and shaggy and that's great because this is a no-knead bread so the structure from the gluten and the activation all comes really from the interaction with the water as opposed to kneading it. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to add my two teaspoons of kosher salt right here. Mix that in. And that, my dear, is going to be bread. <coughs> so I'm going to wait. It's, uh, it's around 9 o'clock now. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So around 2 o'clock, I'm going to take a look at this and... Um, Form it into some kind of a loaf, uh, let it rise for an hour, and then bake it. Right now, I'm just going to cover it, and set it on the counter, and I will see you sometime around 2.